You want to see just how bad modern comics can be. Look no further than this panel. I want to thank Neo Matrix 316 for tagging me on this because this is a this is a monstrosity. Now look at this. I don't know what comic this is from. Guessing one of the many, many X-Men books. I there's so many now and so many needless books. It's it's a joke. That's another problem in itself. But when you look inside of them, you regularly will see stuff like this. And I got to tell you, if I ever read a comic with this, I'd just skip over the panel. This is lazy, lazy writing. And it highlights another problem, which is the comic book editors. They don't do anything. Most of them have never really had a job in editing. Marvel will just hire anybody. One of them, if you go to her LinkedIn, I'm not going to name who. This is all public, public stuff. It said, like, the only job that she had had before she got picked up to be an uh, assistant editor at Marvel was a cashier position at Cole. Okay? And all of the school stuff on there had nothing to do with editing. Why are they hiring these people? These people that have no qualifications to do a job like that. It's, it's insane. And when you have lazy editors that don't want to actually do the job, you get pages like this. Do you really need all that? Look at all of this. This is like two pages in an actual book. That's not what comic books are. This is a, this is, this is, this is work to read. Look no further than this, okay? And as far as I can tell, I don't think there's anything overtly political in this, right? It's just lazy. Another thing I noticed is Colossus uh, Hero Geek here says, he kind of pointed it out, I can see that they aged up Colossus so he can't be with Kitty Pride anymore, giving them the okay to turn her into a uh, lady who likes the ladies which they're already hinting at. Yeah, Colossus and her used to be a thing, but now if you look at that, kind of looks like it would be weird if they did that, huh? That's interesting. So, you know, I look at this and I say, well, it's no wonder comics are doing so bad, right? I don't, I've, I gotta tell you, I've read a lot of manga. I don't think I've ever seen a manga with a panel like this. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm sure I am. I'm sure there's something out there with a ton of dialogue on it, but man, I see this all the time in mainstream comics. If you want to pause and go and take a look at this, he's basically talking about human hate, which is funny because they've pretty much put the mutants on an ethnostate. They literally live on an ethnostate now. That's where the mutants live. It's all mutants, and no, there's no humans allowed. It's, uh, it's crazy, but they're somehow still oppressed, even though they actually have massive control over the economy, at least when I was reading it, because they were giving humans drugs that made them live longer as a trade-off and they have a monopoly on it. So they're actually like have tons of control over the and influence over the world, but they're somehow still oppressed. Don't forget that. It's to totally lazy writing. Uh, speaking of X-Men, the X-Men or the Marvel producer who said that X-Men is outdated and wants to call them the mutants, I think. Uh, she's promoted now at Marvel. A little bit of a blurb right here. Uh, Alonzo will con continue to serve as executive producer on all upcoming feature films, including Eternals, Doctor Strange, and the Multiverse of Madness and Thor, Love of Thunder, as well as EP on executive producer on Marvel Studios' upcoming series, Disney+, Plus, including Hawkeye, Miss Marvel, She-Hulk, and Moon Knight. Moon Knight, man, that could be such a cool show. You know they're gonna, you know they're gonna mess that up. Victoria has been an incredible partner and part of our team since the very first Iron Man, said Kevin Feige, president of Marvel Studios and chief creative officer of Marvel and D. Esposito on Monday. She is one of the most dynamic, candid, and accessible executives in our industry. We're thrilled that she'll continue to be by our side 
in this elevated role as she will lead Marvel Studios into the future. When Lewis first suggested I come to work with the team on Iron Man, I would, I never could have imagined the adventure ahead. And so far as I'm concerned, it has only just begun, Alonzo said. We have an absolute incredible group of people who are bringing their many talents on the exciting slate of films and series as we have on the horizon. Uh, so that's funny. Listen, I, I stand by this. I think it's only a matter of time until the Marvel movies and comic book movies in general kind of collapse down. Because they're just, they're so bland now. Shang-Chi, not the worst movie I've ever seen, but man, it just, it really didn't do anything for me. I I thought it was just going through the motions. And to be honest, I thought it was kind of boring at times. Black Widow, great movie until the final act. And then it fell apart and became a political message. Uh, WandaVision fell apart, in my opinion. Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Had some okay moments, but a lot of political stuff in that one. Really weird decisions at the end. I just, I don't think that these movies, I think eventually people are going to drop off. And when that happens, you know, comic books are going to mean a lot of trouble. This has been going around. A video with Kelly Sue DeConnick and Matt Fraction, who's her husband, doing an interview with a YouTube channel, a nerd news with destiny where she talks about how comics are doing bad and you know shops are closing and people will say comics are booming but they're not like the top five or six are doing really well which by the way are usually the books with no political messaging people will say comics doing great look at the amazing spider-man and venom and batman well there's no real political messaging in those in those books you put those in the lower tier books, you know, you pick up Captain Marvel. You'll get you'll get a little bit of woke messaging and stuff like it, that's still there in the comics. And even in the good comics, right? Some of the other ones, you'll still see you'll still see stuff like this unless it's a talented writer. Uh, they can kind of do it themselves because they've been through the motions. You can't count on the editor to help you. But the reason this has gone around is because this is the lady that said, And if you don't like my politics, don't buy my book. And now she's saying this uh, to a question that was about why did you think comics would be this sort of phenomenon that it is currently? And DeConnick said, Boy, that's hard because from our perspective, the industry has contracted and we're very worried about comics right now. So it's always interesting to me that the outside's perspective is it's always comics are booming, booming. And she would also go on to say, when asked why, she responded, because stores are closing at a phenomenal rate. Independent comic sales are down. Mainstream comic sales are down, except for the top three or five books. Everything in the mid list is in the mid list is way down. Numbers that used to be numbers that would get you canceled are now like, no, that's a hit. Independent books are making the back of the making the back the cost of doing floppies is like names that should be able to do it. No sweat are going into the red on singles and not coming out until the trades. And it worries me. And well, I guess you shouldn't have spent years telling people if you don't like my politics, don't buy my books. And, you know, you reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. But the funny thing is they keep doing it. They keep doubling down on it. I mean, this, as far as I know, is a recent comic. This is what you get now. This is a problem, okay? This is another problem besides all of the woke shit. Just lazy editing. The editors are the biggest problem. Some of, They are, and I, I did a video on this when I went over, I forget who said it, that Batman and Fables writer where he talked about this and said the editors are bullies and, you know, it starts as a trickle-down system. The the comic book pros attack customers because this is what they learn from the editors. The editors are the biggest problem. They are the rot that is deep in comics. You need to hire people that know what they're doing and actually have, like, the skill to edit comics and properly run this shit, and maybe we could start turning things around. But I, I think it might just be too late. Manga, killing it every month. 
So I don't know. It's going to be a long time until comics go anywhere. But I don't know if you can clear that rot out. I don't know. And once the movies finally drop off and lo- and people lose interest in comic book movies, and that's only a matter of time, it happens to every genre movie that's popular. Uh, next will be remakes and reboots. That'll be the next thing uh, after the comic book uh, revolution. Uh, that'll probably be it for comics. Can they keep going without movies? What's the point? What's the point? They don't make much money. The reason they're there right now, I do believe, is because of movies. But they won't totally go away. Crowdfunding will still be here. Independent books will still be here. It's just the main two. The will, will, Something will happen with them. Anyway, that's it. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.